Well, moving on now. The 2022 3T Impex Consulting Annual Trade Finance Survey has unraveled the root causes of the lack of growth of non-export volume in Nigeria. These include a rate of inflation which has resulted in the high cost of living, high rate of exchange of the Naira to major foreign currencies uh, used to pay for imported goods. Now, major findings of the Trade Finance Survey revealed that 94% of the exporters experienced rejection of the financing request by the Nigerian banks, while 42% of rejected export finance requests were done without any reason given to the exporters. Now, 21% of the rejected export finance and requests were based on lack or inadequate collateral security and only 11% of exporters received approval for their export finance and requests. According to a financial expert, Bami Dele Ayemibo, banks should be deliberate in providing forex to those in the export sector for the country to move from an import-dependent economy. There is need for readiness on the part of the exporter. Because the reason why that rate is also high is the fact that a number of the exporters are not ready. So there's need for readiness assessment. So before I approach the bank, I should also ensure that I'm ready for export. That means I should have a record I've done it before. If I've not done it before, I shouldn't go to the bank. They won't be interested in export. So I should have evidence I've done it before. But more importantly also is the fact that government should come in to provide credit insurance that can help the bank to reduce some of the stringent requirements they expect exporters to make available. Now, you talk about the fact that they are not providing equity. But, I mean, for me, if the bank, if I say the bank should reduce their student requirement and the CBN is saying the bank should get creative, then the exporter must do their own part by also providing equity, something that shows that they have commitment to this transaction. Ayemibo also stressed the need for the country to put up necessary sanctions to remove all bottlenecks Nigerians face at the port trying to export their products abroad. Now, according to the report, 57% of the exporters identified access to export finance, port logistics and delays by government agencies at the port. Exporters are not ready. But if we look away from this and look at the bank, even the banks also are not ready because most of them are used to financing import. Some of the assessment criteria for export they are using is what they use for other means of transaction. So there are other models they can use to assess risk and do a good credit scoring and be able to still finance, not recklessly, and still avoid losses on the transaction. So the bank needs capacity building. Uh, the government needs to support with credit insurance. I think we should reduce the rate at which government is asking bank to give guarantee. But government should rather be giving bank guarantee so that banks can be able to give the money out while government carry the risk of growing the export in the country like many other countries have done.